Good day folks, here's a question on momentum and energy question. This is question for paper one. This is um, Mpumalanga question paper in 20, 2017, September. Let's cut the chase. It says a wooden block of mass of 5 kg hangs stationary from the light string, which is this. It hangs here stationary. A bullet of mass of 50 gram moves horizontally with a constant velocity and it hits the wooden sphere. Here's the bullet. It moves with a constant velocity with a mass of 50 kg. It hits the wooden sphere. The bullet enters the wooden sphere and the bullet system of swings further to the maximum height at point S. So the bullet is embedded here inside and then it swings um, to that height. The height is 60 millimeters at the height S. We call that height as S and this position is R as shown in the diagram below. Okay, here are the things that are important. Here, this bullet, it moves with the velocity before collision and then it collides with this block and then as soon as it enters and it moves, that's the velocity after collision. And as they move together as a system while the bullet is embedded there, um, the velocity decreases as it moves up. So it reaches that point with the final velocity of zero. Right, before collision in the five, the five kg wouldn't store its initial velocity zero before collision. And before collision, its initial velocity, we do not know the bullet. And then it has the velocity after when the bullet is embedded here. Um, there's a velocity after collision. We do not know as well, right? Now let's answer the question. It says define the term gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy, it's an energy due to height or it's an energy due to um, it's an energy that the object has due to its height above the ground or it's an energy an object that has um, due to its height um, above the reference point. Okay guys, check the exam guideline and the exam guideline will be the grade, um, grade 10 um, and grade 12, we do not have that. Okay. 4.2 it says calculate the gravitational potential energy of a sphere bulletin system at point s here at point s what do we have we have the we have the height here and this height it needs to be converted you divide it by thousand it's going to be 0 0.06 meters since we have a height height is not equal to zero is not equal to zero that means we have the gravitational potential energy here at point s but if the velocity is zero that means the kinetic energy is also zero so the mechanical energy at point s is made up of um, by the gravitational potential energy only right here at the bottom um, here at the bottom while the steel is there at the bottom um, there's uh, the, there's no velocity for it's stationary so if it's stationary the kinetic energy is zero there and the height um, the height is zero that means um, the gravitational potential energy is zero okay calculating that 4.2.1 it says calculate the potential energy of the suitable tenant that so um, the gravitational potential energy, it's EP, is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration times height. Our mass, here, you need to be careful. When it's here, it's a mass of a bullet, which is 0 0.05 kg. When you divide this by 1000, it will be 0 0.05 kg. And the mass of the bullet, which is it's 5 kg. So when you combine the two, it will be 5 plus 0 0.05 kg times 9.8 times the height. The height is uh, 60 millimeters, but you change it, it's 0 0.06. So 
So the answer it will be two comma nine seven joules. That's the that's the gravitational potential energy it possesses here. And remember, I said the gravitational potential energy here, it will be equal to the mechanical energy. But let's leave that for a question. It says calculate the speed of the sphere bulletin system at the sphere of the the speed of the sphere bullet system at point R. So what do they need here? They need the the, the velocity just after collision. The velocity before collision of the bullet we do not know and the velocity before the collision we know of the of the sphere is zero and we just want the velocity just after the bullet was embedded on the wooden sphere so what we're going to do here we're going to use um, the conservation of mechanical energy we'll say we'll say here the mechanical energy at point r is equivalent to the mechanical energy to the mechanical energy at point s right so the mechanical energy it's made up of m g h plus half m v initial square m g h plus half m v final square so what do we need we need this velocity here at the bottom um, just after collision with the combined masses as a system so the mass um, here at the bottom so it's going to be 5 plus 0 0.05 times 9.8 there's no gravitational potential energy at the bottom so the height is 0 plus the velocity we want this velocity so it will be half 5 plus 0 0.05 mv initial square this is the velocity that we want equal to the mgh there we already calculated the gravitational potential energy there so it's 2.97 plus half and then we are here the mass it's 0 0.05 plus 5 and the velocity as i've mentioned when it gets to the top there the velocity decreases decreases up until it's zero so the velocity there is zero so in our calculator we'll punch this will be zero and uh, you have you have five comma zero five times half it will be 2,5025 vi square equal to 2,97. The answer here is 0. So what are we going to 2,5? Now the answer here, um, this is 5 plus 0 0.05. Um, it's going to be my bad here um, times half so it's going to be five point zero five times zero point five it's going to be two uh, two comma five two five yeah so we divide by 2,525 uh, squared both sides 2,525 and the 2,97 we divide by 2,525 so what's going to happen so it's going to be this and this cancel the v initial we we'll put the square root of that 2,97 Two comma five two five. All right. The answer there it will be. The answer it will be. Um, one o eight meters per second. Okay. Let's go to the next question.
next question it says calculate the speed of the bullet before it hits the sphere so what is needed here it's the velocity before collision before this velocity the velocity of the bullet before collision so it's 4,2.3 so what we're going to use here we're going to use um, the, 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 the conservation of momentum so we'll use the momentum of the ball alone before and the momentum of the bullet alone before and the momentum after the momentum after so um, this is what I'm going to do I'll say the momentum before is equal to the total momentum after so the bullet in the in the sphere was separate before it was the mass of the bullet multiplied by the initial velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the system multiplied by the initial velocity of the wooden and bullet and after collision they were combined the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wooden um, they had one velocity it's a velocity after it's a bullet wooden system so the mass of the bullet it's 0 0.05 and we are looking for this velocity of the bullet the initial plus um, initially the wooden before it hit it, it was collided by the bullet it was zero its velocity so its momentum will be zero so here yeah, after collision the masses were combined so it's 0 0.05 plus 5 and the velocity after collision it's this so it's going to be 1.8 so the answer here it will be 0 0.05 plus 5 answer times 1.08 so the answer from this side is 5.54 and the answer from this side it will be 0 0.05 the initial of the bullet we divide by 0 0.05 we divide by 0 0.05 so the answer we divide by 0 0.05 so the velocity of the bullet initially that constant velocity we were told about it's 109.08 meters per second